understand. Does this mean Cheyenne's first wedding was fake? Oh, no, honey. It's just that when two people have been married for a while, they want to have another ceremony to celebrate. So it's kind of like when you eat something that tastes really good, and then you burp and think, man, that tasted good. Hey. Hey, honey. Oh, Mom. Are those little rice bags for our ceremony? Yeah. They're beautiful. Oh, I hope they're OK, but I'm going to need them back. I'm going to make rice pudding for the reception. Well, you know what, Mom? You don't have to go to all this trouble. I'm fine keeping things on the simple side. Well, honey, I'm just so excited. I finally get to throw you a wedding where it's not on the same day as prom. <laughs> well, I really appreciate it. And thanks for letting Barbara Jean help out, too. OK, got to run. Whoa, 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 whoa. Barbara Jean. All right, Mom, look, Van and I decided that with your high blood pressure and cramming everything into two weeks that, you know, it might be nice if Barbara Jean helped you out a little bit. So you've asked Barbara Jean to help make my life easier? <laughs> Where have you been for the last five years? Right. Mom, she's my stepmom, and she really wants to be involved. No, and look, Shine. it is really, really important to me that everyone gets along this time, okay? Yeah. Okay. Don't give it another thought. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Just don't let Barbara Jean get too wacky. And good luck with that. <laughs> okay. Reba, I ordered a horse and a carriage, but can the horse stay over here? You know, you got all those weeds in your backyard, and Thunder will love that. You hired a horse and carriage? What happened to the white limo? That's a little pimp daddy huggy bear, 1985, you know. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, that. I'm so glad you're wanting to help, but I know you're busy just being Barbara Jean. <laughs> Look, I am perfectly capable of taking care of this ceremony on my own. Yeah, well, your daughter doesn't think so. And Reba, like it or not, I am way more qualified. <laughs> Who here has been married the most recently? Let me think. Me. I know, because I provided you with a husband. Well, maybe. It's time you stop beating a dead horse and get on with your no, life. No, I'll show you a dead oh, horse. Right now. Is is it okay? Everything okay down here? Yeah, just talking Great. about horses. <laughs> well, actually, one end of it anyway. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm off to my 12-step group. Ooh, which reminds me, at the reception, no booze and no open mic. Oh, you got it. We'll just be here getting along, honey. Yeah, bye, bye, Cheyenne. Yeah. <laughs> okay, oh, look. We wrecked Cheyenne's last wedding because of our bickering, but that's not going to happen again. So we work together? Yes. Horse in the backyard? Yes. Matching outfit? Get out. Okay. I'm saying is this is our wedding. The only people who should be invited are people who are meaningful in our lives. And Bill Gates. <laughs> he probably won't come, but he might send a check. Fine, if we're just gonna invite close family and friends, I guess I'm okay with that. Okay, you love birds. I've wrangled the caterer, hired the musicians, and ordered programs, and confirmed the minister. <laughs> Dang, I'm good. <laughs> Wow, Mrs. H, that sounds fancy. Well, fancy is my name. <laughs> oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Reba, oh my God. wedding oh crisis. Talk her down. <laughs> Shouldn't we wait to see if she's gonna jump first? <laughs> They've run out of pink roses. Some idiot ordered all the pink roses in town three days ago. Our theme is ruined. Relax, Barbara Jean, that idiot was me. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> How y'all doing? Wow, that sounds like a lot of flowers for that small little room at the senior center. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's paying for all these flowers? We are. 
Well, a wedding is nothing without flowers. <laughs> and we may need that many flowers because you're not getting married at the senior center. I got us the church. <gasps> the church, really? Oh, Cheyenne, you are one lucky girl because your mother is a saint. A saint with the cunning of a Bolivian street urchin. <laughs> Come on, Brock. Now that we got the big church, our options are wide open. I'm thinking light show. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, they're paying for the light show, right? You know, let the moth out of your wallet, okay? <laughs> so what do you think about all this? I don't know, Mom. I'm worried. Barbara Jean's got that look in her eye. You know, the same look that got us fireworks at Grandma's funeral. <laughs> this will not be a circus, I promise. No elephants and no cotton candy, okay? Okay. All righty. Thank you. You got it. Mm. It'll be fun. That's great, Mrs. H. Keep the cotton candy a surprise. What are you talking about? Trust me, I know my wife, and she loves the circus. If this is not the biggest, flashiest wedding of the year, she's going to be disappointed. I'm not sure that's true. Trust me, it's true. Trust me, it's not. Trust me, you're wrong. Man! <sighs> Would you please just let me plan the wedding, and you stick to looking pretty? I promise, both of you will be happy with it. Uh, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Mrs. H thinks I'm pretty. I think somewhere Jesus is weeping. <laughs> I just decorated this church this morning. What happened? Your version had a certain been there, done that, seen it, boring quality. This is supposed to look like a church, not your bedroom. <laughs> and are those live birds? Yes. Nothing says celebration like 10 live... Make that nine live doves. <laughs> Just a sec. Frederico? Yeah, we've got a dove down. <laughs> also, I've got a heart-shaped balloon deflating near the popcorn machine. Well, what do you mean you are out of helium? Why is your voice so high? <laughs> Who's Frederico? Oh, he's the wedding planner. Well, he's not actually a wedding planner yet but he's the best darn eyebrow waxer at hair apparent. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, sweetie. <laughs> Gotta run, Red. But Mar 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 Whoa, check out this place. And a giant picture of me? You know what, you're right, Mrs. H. I am pretty. Man, everything was supposed to go through me. Did you know about this? Well, Barbara Jean called me and said that you decorated the place in a subtle shade of dull, so I said, work it, girl. I promised Cheyenne everything would be dignified. Oh, say the dignified for our funerals. A wedding's supposed to be fun. You gotta have fun. And hey, Mrs. H, I invited some single men of a certain age. I'm sure there's fire left in the old gal, huh? Gotta mingle. Love ya. Okay, honey, look. You look beautiful. <laughs> oh, my goodness. One day you're running alongside their bike, teaching them how to ride a two wheeler, and the next day they're getting married. Again. I was just going to say, it doesn't even feel like that much of a wedding. I mean, nobody's yelling. <laughs> <laughs> Look, honey, your father and I just want to take this moment to tell you how proud we are of you. Your mother's right. You know, everything you've done, everything you've become, well, we just couldn't ask for a better daughter. You guys, I love you so much. Oh, we love you, too. <laughs> 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 Honey, before uh, before you go out there, um, 
Well, your ceremony might be a little more flamboyant than what you thought it might be. <laughs> oh, Mom, it's okay. Now that we're here, it's, it's just important to me that I share this moment with my closest friends and family. Mm. Oh, honey. <laughs> knock, knock. Three-minute warning, people. Also, there's been a robbery at a liquor store. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of interference. <laughs> All right, honey, I'll be back in a few minutes to walk you down the aisle. Remember, don't be nervous. It's just like riding a bike. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Who are all those people out there? Those are your guests, Cheyenne. Somebody's a little nervous. <laughs> but I don't recognize any of them. Mom, do you know who they are? A lot of them are Van's clients. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got out the business cards to prove it. It's like a real estate seminar out there. I cannot believe he'd do this. I mean, we agreed that it would just be people that meant something to both of us. After all that we talked about, he, he packs the church with his clients? Well, honey, it could be worse. It could be all family. <laughs> Mom, where are you going? Talk to my husband. Yeah, but the ceremony's about to start. Way to go, yappity yap. Now get out there and keep things moving and I'll deal with this. Okay, Frederico? Yeah. Ma'am, I don't care if you ordered pickles on your burger, just eat it. So he says to me, can I get an interest-free loan? Well, that's when I lost my interest. <laughs> hey, I'm not supposed to see you. It's bad luck. How could you do this? How could you fill the church full of your clients? I think when you see the quality of their gifts, you might change your tune. So you just blow off all my friends from the group? Well, hey, it'll give you something to share at your next meeting. Man, this is not a joke to me. Okay, you two, let's just calm down. Now, there's a church full of people waiting to see you celebrate your love for one another, okay? You did not listen to a word that I said. What are you talking about? This whole thing is for you. For me? Huh? I don't get why you're so mad. That's just it, man. You just don't get it. Okay, and there's the music. Now, to sum it all up, Van, sorry, Cheyenne, sorry, and we can finish this conversation at another time. <laughs> Van, would you escort me to my seat, please? Sure. Excuse me for trying to give you the perfect wedding. Let's go. <laughs> Your daughter is nuts. Van! Well, she is. This whole thing is for her, and she's acting like I'm some huge jerk. And speaking of huge, I got a place by the lake to show you. Now back to your nutty daughter. Oh, please stop talking so I can just look happy. Why is she jumping all over me? I don't understand it. And hey, you, I got your crazy email, and <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> Mrs. H, are you okay? Oh, just all y'all's arguing is just making me a little faint. Let me just sit down and enjoy the ceremony. Lights and music, where a go. Come on, y'all! Give me all that! Ladies and gentlemen, here comes your bride, Cheyenne Montgomery! To the freaking bride! We kill the music! Cut the lights! Brock, you forgot the bride. She's gone. What do you mean she's gone? She's gone. The bride's room is empty. Oh, just for once, I wish she would get married without making such a fuss. she be gone? You tell me. You're the one fighting with her. You were fighting with her? I swear to God, boy, if these hands weren't my bread and butter, I'd... Rock! <laughs> I can't believe Cheyenne would do this. Yeah, this is just horrible. Everything is wrecked. Kill the doves. 
Not literally, Frederico, just no doves. God! Okay, nothing is wrecked. I'm gonna go find Cheyenne and talk her down. Barbara Jean, yeah. I need you to get in there and stall. Stall? How am I supposed to stall? I don't know, sing a song, dance a jig. Suddenly you can't find a way to draw attention to yourself? <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. I've got an idea. Why don't we renew our vows? What? Yeah, our anniversary is coming up. We could renew our vows and buy Van and Cheyenne some time. <laughs> so what do you say, Barbara Jean? Will you marry me again? Oh, my gosh, honey. That is the most romantic thing I have ever heard. And this time, it will be even better because I can celebrate with my best friend. I mean, I don't think Reba was totally happy for me the first time. Oh, Five years later, and it still makes me sick. <laughs> okay, fine. Renew your vows. Play the banjo. I don't care. Just keep them busy until I get back. I am so happy I could scream. <laughs> oh, I hope you don't mind, Van. I just sort of got swept up in the moment. No, it'll be nice to have someone to split the cost with. Hmm? No. no. No, Barbara Jean! Attention, everyone. There will be a brief addition to the program. My husband and I are renewing our vows. <laughs> Sorry, Frederico. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. Just... Cheyenne? Anybody in here? No. <laughs> It's all wrong, Mom. This was supposed to be wonderful. And it still can be. In a Harlequin romance novel, French bordella kind of way. I can't go out there, Mom. I'm so mad I can barely even speak. Van should have known better. Oh, I know, honey. And you guys can discuss this after the ceremony. Now, let's get out there and have some fun. Come on. Cheyenne. How could you do this? How could you ruin everything? Are you kidding me, Van? This wasn't about me. This was about your clients and showing off. So what if I'm showing off? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the things I've accomplished. I thought you'd be proud, too. The things that you've accomplished? Okay, let's keep this in perspective. Now, we got to remember, the reason we're here is for you guys to celebrate your love for one another. Yeah. <laughs> Van, you were only supposed to invite people that were meaningful to both of us. My clients are meaningful. They mean money. Okay, but you know what, Van? The people in my support group mean something to me. I wanted them here, too. And, and, and also, because when you're in love, you always forgive the other one. Do you, know, do you know why I didn't invite your friends? Because they depress me. All those people with all their problems depress me. Van, I'm one of those people. And it's important to remember that weddings are very stressful. So let's just take a step back and take a deep breath. The shine I married would have loved this wedding. Well, maybe I'm not that person anymore. No kidding. I mean, what happened to us? We used to have so much fun. It's like I don't even know you anymore. I don't know, man. I mean, maybe we're not meant to be together after all. What? Oh, but... Van, go after her! Go after her! Maybe she's right. Maybe we shouldn't get married. But you're already married! <laughs> oh, how could this day get any worse? Reba, come, come quick. I want you to be my bridesmaid. Van, <laughs> help! Van, help! Reba, this is so beautiful. Just like out of a dream. You know, Frederico accidentally let three doves escape. I caught two of them. The other one hit a window. Barb Jean, let me go. But you need to give me away. I would love to if I could find any takers. Let's stop touching now. You're kind of clammy. Okay. Hey, what's going on with Van and Cheyenne? Okay, the kid's wedding is off. Sorry. They had another fight, and they were in the bathroom, which is a bad place to have it because the echo makes it sound far worse. Oh, my gosh. Are they going to be okay? I don't know. I guess I better say something. Frederico, Reba's going to speak. Give me a drum roll and a pin spot. <laughs> God, you are useless. <laughs> uh, hello. Uh, thanks for coming. Uh, traffic was nuts, huh? <laughs> Ha! 
anyway, the, the, the kids had a little um, misunderstanding. I'm sure they'll be okay, but... Oh. Rip? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Okay. Um, so, so if y'all will just kind of hang in there, I'm, sh I'm sure it'll be... I'm gonna sit down just for a second, okay? Reba. Oh. Reba, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Who let the doves out? Now, previously on Reba. According to this reading, you have high blood pressure. Cheyenne? Yeah? Will you marry me again? Oh, man. <laughs> you did not listen to a word that I said. What are you talking about? This whole thing is for you. For me? Ha! Huh? I don't get why you're so mad. That's just it, man. You just don't get it. You forgot the bride. She's gone. What do you mean she's gone? She's gone. The bride's room is empty. The kids had a little um, misunderstanding. I'm, sh I'm sure it'll be... I'm gonna sit down just for a second, okay? Reba. Oh. Reba, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Who let the doves out? Excuse me, who here is Mrs. Hart's family? I am. And you are? Hi, I'm Barbara Jean Hart. I'm her ex-husband's new wife. That doesn't make you family. I'm sorry. I'm also her twin sister. You know what? I'm her daughter. Oh, getting married. Oh, no, no, no. That's her running outfit. <laughs> Doctor, how is she doing? Well, we're not exactly certain what happened yet, but any time anyone with high blood pressure passes out, we take it seriously. So it's serious. I didn't say it was serious. I said we take it seriously. We've got to be thorough. So can we see her now? Sure, as long as you don't... Reba! Startle her. I will never leave your side, Reba. Never! I'm glad to hear that, Barbara Jean. They think it's bird flu. Ah! Guys, I didn't mean to scare you like that. No, 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 Reba. We weren't worried. We knew you'd be fine. You know, for a moment there, when I was running behind the ambulance, <laughs> I couldn't remember what you looked like. Mrs. H gave us a good excuse to cancel the wedding. Mother of bride collapses sounds better than psycho bride, dumb, sweet, innocent groom. You know what, Van? No one asked you to propose. You know what, Cheyenne? No one asked me not to either. <laughs> That's not even an argument. You know what? It might be. It might not be. Mi oh. Can I talk to you guys? Hey, Reva, I'm just going to have a little chat with Paris and Nicole here. <laughs> Look. I told you guys before, it's not good for Reba to hear you argue. Now, if you can't control yourselves, take it outside. That's right, Cheyenne. Take it outside. You take it outside, baby. No, you. No, you take it outside. Get out. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just getting a sense memory. <laughs> Has your arm always been this hairy? Oh, stop it. Get those kids back in here. Kids, get back. 
back in here. Oh, Reba, Reba, please, would you relax? You've been through a terrible ordeal. I can't just sit here in this hospital bed. Van and Cheyenne's marriage is falling apart, and I gotta go fix that. Reba, this might be a good time for you to learn that sometimes you just gotta let things go, okay? I mean, you cannot fix everything. Oh, yes, I can. Whoa, 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 Reba, no, no. Back into bed, all right? Just at least wait until the doctor gets back with the test result. That could be forever. This hospital's on my HMO. <laughs> Look, just wait ten minutes, all right? If he's not back by then, you can get up and go save the world. Okay, fine. Uh. What are you doing? Well, I decided to get a taped memory. You know, my senses are shot. All right, now hold your arm up. I want to see that hair. It looks like a red wheat field. This is not my fault, Van. I mean, I wish you would understand what a difficult position you put me what in. What difficult position? How hard was it to say you'll marry me when you're already married to me? Very hard. Because this time when you asked me, I knew what it would mean. If we weren't married, I would know so it'd be easier, but it's not. Watch TV. to renew our vows, I would never have re-examined our relationship. But you know what? Guess what? I did. And I didn't like what I saw. I wasn't trying to make you re-examine anything. I wanted to renew our vows to make you happy. But I'm not happy. I get that! <laughs> These people, they get it too! Look, Van, ever since I started volunteering at the homeless shelter, I see things differently. Oh, Charity. I knew nothing good would come of it. Hate that I've grown. I used to act self-centered and silly, and you loved that. I did. It was hot. <laughs> you know what? You're not the only one who's grown. I've grown too. I lost one job, and I'm doing really great at a new one. You have too great. Seems like all you think about anymore is business and making money. I like money. It doesn't yap at me 24-7. <laughs> I'm not yapping at you, Van. I'm trying to fix this. Oh, really? Anyone here think that we're fixing anything? Show of hands. Huh? Huh? You know what? No. Oh. Watch the TV. Look, Van, all I'm trying to say is this. People grow. They change. But what happens when two people who are married grow at different times? Well, then I guess one person waits for the other one to catch up. And what happens if they grow in different directions? Well, then I guess we have a problem. <laughs> Shut up. Barbara Jean, I'm not taping a profile for MySpace. <laughs> Would you quit taping me? Reba, I have learned that you have got to take every opportunity to tape the person you love. I mean, I always wanted to tape my grandfather before he died, and I just never had the chance. What'd he die? High blood pressure, hit by a car. <laughs> Brock, how many more minutes left? Eight. Look how weird your mouth looks. <laughs> how many minutes now? Nine, penalty minute. <laughs> you wanna go for 10? Okay, all right, that is Brock. Now, he left Reba four years ago. That is when the first crack appeared in her fragile heart. Uh. Brock, make her leave, or I'm going to put a crack in her fragile skull. <sighs> uh, Barbara Jean, listen, uh, why don't you shoot some establishing shots at the outside of the hospital? What? Brock, I'm not hurting anyone. I just want to get some footage of Reba so that when she's all better, we can just look back and laugh, you know? Ha 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 ha. Yeah, right, I know, I know. But remember how the doctor said that she should relax, so maybe it'd be a little better if you gave her some peace and quiet. Okay. Well, you know, I guess you know best. So, you know, why don't you just come over here for a minute and, and just take me for a second, then I'll go, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, you listen to me, pretty boy. 
If something happens to my best friend, this videotape may be the only thing I have to comfort me for the rest of my life. Now give me back my camera and back off. <laughs> Before I rip out your beating heart and I give it to Reba. <laughs> okay. I'm out of here. I gotta go talk to Van and Cheyenne. Reba, get back in the bed. Get out of my way. No, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Look, just take it easy. No. no. Okay, this is good. This is all good stuff. I can intercut the sad stuff with these action shots. It's great. It's great. Oh, yeah, Blonnie, you keep filming. If he ever turns me loose, I'm gonna hurt him. Come here, look. What is going on in here? Uh, she was trying to escape. It's okay. I know what I'm doing. I'm a dentist. <laughs> Get back into bed. I don't want to get back in bed. I have a family emergency that I need to deal with. Well, that is going to have to wait because I'll be back in five minutes to prep you for surgery. Surgery? But I, I haven't even got my test results back yet. The doctor will be in shortly to explain. I'll be back in five. When I make the soundtrack for this, this part is going to go dun dun dun. I'm having surgery. Why am I having surgery? What's wrong with me? Okay, just calm down. I'm sure the doctor will explain everything when he comes back. I'm, I'm sure it's nothing. Yeah, nothing? They don't cut on you when it's nothing, Brock. Now, if they say, here, put this little band-aid on your little elbow, then that's nothing. But surgery is something. Okay, Reba. Reba, just listen to me, all right? Now, these surgeons are highly trained. Okay, they're experts. You do not have to worry. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I gotta calm down. Yeah. Oh, think positive. Oh. Unless they leave a pair of scissors or a glove in you when they sew you up. What? <laughs> that happens. Barbara G. Rarely. I mean, that happens rarely. Oh. But it happens. Oh. I can't have surgery. There's no milk in the house. What if I'm right in the middle of surgery and somebody wants a glass of milk? I've never even been to the Grand Canyon. I'll buy some milk. Okay. And I will rent a Thunderbird convertible and I will put your ashes in the seat next to me. And I will drive them over the rim of the Grand Canyon. Where are the kids? Where are Van and Cheyenne? I think they're right outside. I gotta go talk to him. I gotta talk him out of this mess. Reba, please right get now. back into bed. I'll go get him, okay? What are, you, what are you saying, Brock? Am I too weak to walk? Do you know something you're not telling me? No, 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 of course not. I just want you to relax. I'll relax. I'll relax after I knock their two heads together and get out of my way. Hey, hey, hey. Van, where's Cheyenne? She's probably down at the gift shop buying one of those teddy bears that says, Shut up, Van. Mom, what are you doing out of your room? I have something to say, and I want you both to listen. Mrs. H, I'm really not in the mood for a lecture right now. Well, too bad, because I got one for you. You two do this all the time, and I'm sick of it. You take your petty little arguments, and you blow them into gigantic problems. Mom, this is a big problem. Oh, stop it! You two love each other, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Now, I'm going to give you five minutes to work this out, or I'm not going to be the only one that has to have surgery. What? Surgery? Yes, surgery! And I'm a little scared. I'm fine. It's just that it's easier for me to concentrate on your problems. Now, work it out. Don't let me down. Okay? Now I'm going to go back inside because I'm tired of Barbara Jean filming my backside. <laughs> and cut. Surgery? I cannot believe this. She'll be all right. She's a survivor. <laughs> And mom's wrong. The kind of problems that we have, you can't fix in five minutes. So we lie. What? We go in there and we tell her we made up. But we didn't make up. <laughs> that's why it's a lie. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, look. Okay, that's a good idea. We'll go in there and, and we'll just renew our vows. But I didn't write down any vows. We were supposed to. Well, you were supposed to marry me. You know what, Fidget? You can just shut up and you smile. <laughs> Okay, Reba. Now, just in case the surgery doesn't go well, any last words? Bite me. Mrs. H, we have something to tell you. Okay. We're really sorry that we let our silly little argument ruin the ceremony, so 
Van and I thought that we might renew our vows for you right here in the hospital room. Really? Yeah. I think that's a wonderful idea. Oh, good. Okay. okay. Van? <laughs> oh, I think you should go first. <laughs> I think you should go first. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, sure. Okay. Cheyenne, you're a handful. Mm. <laughs> you were when I married you, and you are now. Actually, you're more now. <laughs> and I know you've grown a lot. There's this new and improved Cheyenne. But when I look into your eyes, when I really look into your eyes, I see the woman I've always known. And you say you were self-centered and silly, and you probably were, but you're also sweet, kind, and beautiful. And that Cheyenne will never change. It's the core of who you are. It's the woman I married. It's the woman I love. Okay. Uh, that was really sweet, guys. Stop filming me, Barbara Jean. Okay, Mrs. Hart, we're ready to take you down and prep you for surgery. Oh, uh, could I have a couple of minutes with my family, please? Sure. Uh, before I go in, I'd just like to take a few minutes to say I'm too young to die. Oh, no. You're my family. Cheyenne, my beautiful Cheyenne. You're the light of my life. I know, Mom. I know. <laughs> Van, you started out in this family as my son-in-law, and now you're my son. Thanks, Mom. Brock, this is going to be difficult, but if I did die, there's something that I'd want you to know. Yes, Reba, what is it? You done me wrong. <laughs> but you've been a really good father to our children, and I guess that's about as much as a person could ask for. You're my family. I love all of you. Reba, do you have anything you want to say to me? Nope, that about wraps it up. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, Barb Jean. I've been angry with you for a long time. And today made me realize that I shouldn't judge you for what you did. I should judge you for what you do. You've always been there for me. Always. To the point where it's a little creepy. <laughs> Stop it. You're making me cry. But your heart's always in the right place. And I was just thinking that I've actually wanted to think of you as Yes. As one of my closest. Say it, Reba, just say it. Well, as one of my... Hey there! Ah, oh, he stepped on my moment! Sorry, I just had to rush in here before they prepped you for surgery. Um, the nurse got your chart confused with another patient. <laughs> Wait, I'm not having surgery? No, you probably had a little anxiety and some low blood sugar. That oh, coupled gosh. with your high blood pressure made you pass out. <laughs> so I'm fine. Well, you're going to have to realize that you have high blood pressure. You're going to have to change a lot in your life. Okay, Doc, I will. I will. I'm, I'm going to start by, by spending more time with my family and mm -hmm. making sure there's enough milk at the house. <laughs> <laughs> and Barbara Jean... Go rent a Thunderbird convertible because we're going to the Grand Canyon! Oh, my God! We're going to the Grand Canyon! <laughs> You're taking Barbara Jean to the Grand Canyon? No, but it got her out of the room, didn't it? <laughs> Kids who never stops.
Bring him over here with a set of bagpipes. <laughs> Reba, drummers get the chicks. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, can you stop that for a moment? Oh, he's in the middle of a song. How can you tell? <laughs> Seriously, Henry, I'm getting a headache. The music will help you, Reba. Just let it walk. Me. I want it to stop. Henry, knock it off! I guess the band took a little break. yelled at my child. That wasn't yelling. I was just trying to be heard over the drum solo. <laughs> well, you're very tough when you're picking on a four-year-old, Reba, okay? Why don't you try picking on me, all right? I'm not scared of you. <laughs> okay, maybe a little. <laughs> Look, he wasn't listening. I was just trying to give him a little discipline. Yeah, well, you don't get to. He's not your son. You discipline Jake. Well, of course I do. Jake is my stepson. Technically, you're nothing to Henry. Then why is he here in my house? Why are you here in my house? If I'm nothing to the both of you, why are you always here? Well, we're here because we like you. Well, I'm sorry. Okay, if you're gonna keep coming over here, and who are we kidding, you are, then I need to be able to do something about Henry's behavior. Fine, but I insist you do what we do. In our house, we reason with Henry. You reason with him? Yes. I'm guessing he wins most of the time. It's not about winning and losing. I mean, if I stuck my fingers in my ears and held my breath, I'd probably win a lot, too. Oh, Barbara Jean, I hear that same song and dance from the parent of every kid that acts like a brat. Oh. Brat? Yes. Uh, 
Okay, so now you're calling Henry names. So you're a yeller and a name caller, but Henry's the problem. No, 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 no. I'll tell you what the problem oh. is. The problem is... <laughs> Great. That's just what your brain needs, less oxygen. <laughs> what time is it? Guy time! <laughs> Two men doing men things, getting the primal thing going. So what is on the agenda today? Something I guarantee you've never done before. Dwarf tossing. Is it dwarf tossing? You did not run a dwarf! <laughs> I had something a little more dignified in mind, Van. We are going to a day spa. <laughs> yeah, right. What are we gonna do? Get our nails done? <laughs> Yeah, manicure, pedicure, massage. They call it the gentleman's fancy. Uh, Mr. H, I know this question's a little late in our relationship, but, uh, are you gay? Men can care about their appearance, too. You know, and we should be secure enough in our masculinity to spend the day getting pampered. Yeah, but Mr. H, I need to do something that can get rid of all the tension and aggression that builds up during the week. I mean, when I used to play football, I would get all my frustrations out. Then I got married. <laughs> I had to bury it down deep. That's why I need to go bowling or toss a dwarf. Trust me, Van. The spa experience will change your life. All right. All right. But they don't mess with your hair, do they? Because Julio would scratch my eyes out. Jake, didn't I tell you you can't have your bat in the house? But what if we're attacked? What if I tan your hide? Then I can fight you off with my bat. Put it outside. Ding dong! Yes, you are. <laughs> oh, clever. What would you have said if I would have said knock knock? I would have said you're a ding dong. <laughs> no drum, huh? That is correct. This time, Henry is going to act like a little gentleman. But just to be sure, I am going to give him a gentle reminder. Observe the Barbara Jean method of parenting. Yo, remember Henry, the notorious SOC, the first pop of the hip hop says, yo, 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 you gotta put your best foot forward, okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> now, Henry, no is a bad word. That is why mommy doesn't say it. Okay, so, so why don't you just say maybe? Okay? No. Okay, just run along the play, all right? <sighs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Nothing's wrong with her, you rude lady. <laughs> You're hurting me. You smell like Brock's feet. I am making discipline fun. See, I communicate with Henry using puppets and hip hop. I call it be good in the hood. <laughs> <coughs> You're buh 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 bananas. Make fun, but it works. See, if he behaves for a day, he gets a blue sticker. And with seven blue stickers, he can trade it in for a star sticker. And with four star stickers, he gets to be the mommy for a day. <laughs> well, my daddy used to swat me with a switch. And if I talked back, I got upgraded to two more swats. Well, that explains the temper. <laughs> no, Barbara Jean, that explains why when my daddy told me to do something, I did it. Yeah, but that is so old school. Right, but there's a whole new loving world of parenting out there. No, no. There's a whole world full of out of control kids because their parents don't tell them no. Well, Henry is not out of control. Henry did it. <laughs> tell your puppet to get a br 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 broom.
Okay, boys. What happened? I was trying to put my bat outside, and Henry grabbed it from me and swung it at me. By the way, strike one. Oh, oh Henry, why would you do that? I, I, I didn't do it. Oh, Henry. Reba, I am so sorry. I am going to handle this right now. Thank you. Okay. Come here. Now, Henry, Mommy loves you, and we're still going to go get ice cream. But... If you ever do this again, I'm going to have to take away a blue sticker. Okay, now you consider this your first lamp warning. First lamp warning? He did something bad. He should be punished. Reba, that is not the way to handle this. All the statistics show that punishment does not work. Your way only encourages violence. Violence? He just beat my lamp to death with this bat. And if he ever does it again, he'll get the proper sticker penalty. Get out. What? Get out and take Chucky with you. Oh! Reba, he is just a child. You cannot blame him for something like this. Oh, I don't blame him. I blame you. Bad behavior comes from bad parenting. Okay, you don't mean that. I mean that, and I mean this too. Time to go. Okay, well, I'm not leaving. I'll give you till the count of three. One. Reba, but we need to talk about two. this. Okay, I'm not a child. Three. <laughs> Did you just spank me? That's for talking back. Okay, you know what? We are out of here. That's the idea. Jake, have you seen the glue? Elizabeth broke Mom's picture frame, and she's so mad about the lamp, I know she's going to freak. So tell her Henry broke it. So that's what I did. What? Yeah. I broke the lamp. Henry took the fall. Sweet. <laughs> hey, guys. Mom. Jake broke the lamp and blamed it on Henry. Hey, you're my sister. You're not supposed to rat me out. Jake, why would you do that? Henry never gets punished anyway, so I figured why not blame him? He gets ice cream, I don't get punished. It's all good. <laughs> no, it's not. Because you're grounded for a week for breaking the lamp and another week for lying to me. Two weeks? I have Josh's birthday party next week. You shouldn't have lied to me. It's not fair. You keep mouthing off at me, young man, and you won't see your birthday. I hate it here! Yeah, and I hate that I have to apologize to Barbara Jean. What'd you do to Barbara Jean? Oh, I spanked her. What happened to my picture frame? Jake broke it. Hey, so you did the warm milk bath, huh? How was that? Oh, man. It was terrific. Yeah? Hey, did you know if you pass gas and milk, the bubble takes, like, forever to reach the surface? <laughs> you should try it in a mud bath. I don't even know where it goes. Oh, I'm really starting to get into this, Mr. H. Good guide time selection. Thanks, pal. Hey, you know what? You should start calling me Brock. Really? Yeah. Well, I guess I could try that. Brock. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds weird. Oh. You'll get used to it. No, I mean, you have a weird name. <laughs> Sounds like a parrot. Brock. <laughs> Brock. <laughs> See? I'm so relaxed that it doesn't even bug me. It's like a bird that warns of danger. Yeah. Brock! <laughs> Brock! Okay, Van. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, come on. Oh. So, Van, what night ride? Isn't this great? Oh, you know, I have to admit it. I have kept my masculinity intact and my skin is glowing. <laughs> I look like a god. <laughs> yeah, 
And you haven't even had the massage yet. Okay, I'm Robert. I'll be your masseur. Thanks for running a little bit late, guys. Make yourselves comfortable. I'll be right in. All right. Uh, hello? I thought we were going to have women rub us. No. No, guys are stronger. True. They're also guys. Man, trust me. Look, you just admitted that I've been right so far. Besides, what are you afraid of? That if a guy rubs your back, you'll turn gay? No. But what if I like it? Who's first? Him. No, 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 Van, you go. Hank is my guy. Okay, then. Any problem, Marius? No, no, I just needed to lie down. Thanks, Rob. Uh, Van. <laughs> Look, give him the deep tissue shiatsu. What? Yeah. What? Hey, hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Can we do hell with... Oh! Ooh, there's the spot. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to have Hank do a little extra on my upper back. I mean, my shoulders are all knotted up from picking up Henry. You know, kids are funny. When I pick up Henry and then I pick up Elizabeth, she feels light as a feather. Yeah, she's just a little bit of a thing, huh? She's cute as a button. Yeah, so is Henry, though. Oh, we're lucky to have such great kids. Yeah, I can't imagine life without them. But, you know, they're lucky, too, Van. They've got two great dads who love them. Excuse me. Are you crying? No. You, you, well, you don't have to stop rubbing. Oh. oh. I'm sorry. I just always get choked up when I hear people talk about their kids. It's like the one thing in my life I really feel like I'm missing. Mm, yeah, well, you're young. You got plenty of time yet. Oh, I want to adopt. But Peter worries it'll be too hard for a child to <laughs> grow up with gay parents. But look at you two. Brock. I mean, I realize people can be hurtful and ignorant, but oh, we have so much love to offer a child. <laughs> Meeting a gay couple, we're so happy. It's like a miracle. You guys are perfect. Brock! Oh. Oh, man. You know, uh... Robert, uh, we're not exactly uh, perfect. Yes, you are. You're perfect because you love your children. That's all anybody needs to do. God bless you. Yeah, well, right back at you, Robert. Oh, and it's so great that you two still find time for each other. That's the key to a good relationship. Peter and I call that our guy time. Officer, I'd like to report an assault. Yes. My husband's ex-wife spanked me. Well, she's a redhead and I'm a blonde, but... Well, what does that have to do with anything? She's here. Send help. It's okay, Barbara Jean. I'm here to apologize. Mm -hmm. Well, an apology won't take the red marks off my snowy white bottom. Oh, come on. We both knew that the spanking was coming sooner or later. But you didn't deserve it today because apparently Jake was the one that broke the lamp. Really? Yes. As painful as it is for me to admit to you that I was wrong, and it is painful, <laughs> very painful, I just think it's right that I'd be very honest with you. You deserve that. Oh, and I'm going to start giving Henry the benefit of the doubt because I'm sure that it was Jake that did most of the stuff that I've been blaming Henry for. Oh, Reba. <laughs> oh, this is why I'm on my clothes smell like Barbara Jean. Get back. No, you don't understand. Jake's an angel. Henry is the devil. <laughs> what? Oh, he's done tons of awful stuff at your house that we blamed on Van. The overflowing toilet, the oven, the dent in your car. Henry did that? With his head! <laughs> and he's still... 
Pickles! Reba, here. Here's that earring you've been looking for. I put it back three times, but he keeps taking it. Barbara Jean, you need to do something to Henry when he misbehaves. You have to discipline him with, with something other than blue stickers. Well, the blue stickers are for when he's good. The red stickers are for when he's bad. Although I'm thinking of getting rid of the stickers altogether. You know, I might just give him money. <laughs> you need to be firm with him. Mean almost. Yeah, but then he won't like me. Would you listen to yourself? You're not supposed to be your kid's friend. You're his mother. It's your job. Do you think Jake is very happy with me right now? He did something wrong, and I had to punish him. I had to be strong. Mm -hmm. Even though he told me he hates to be with me. Well, but Jake didn't mean that. Well, the fact of the matter is, my little man is very mad right now. And although I know it'll pass in time, it's a very hard thing to hear. Reba, it's okay. I'm okay. Just let it out. I know. No. Your little man, you, he loves you. I know he does. Just like, you know, I know that Henry would still love me if I had to tell him no sometimes. Yeah. Even though I know how much it hurts when he's mommy for the day and he tells me no. <laughs> Being a mother so hard. I know, I hate it. You know, I love it, but I hate it. <laughs> He's awake. A Fresh Twins is next on the WB Friday. Enjoy. Cold, dry cereal. Thanks for going the extra mile. Halloween is in three days, and I still don't know what Elizabeth's gonna be. What about her idea? She is not gonna be Winnie the Poop. <laughs> Van, what are you doing? I'm just trying to get to the prize. If I use my hands, it'll be unsanitary. <laughs> Prize five cavities in a gut? Oh! That's why I married you, that sense of humor. Oh, wait, no. It was the baby. <laughs> hey, look at this. A mouse. How terrifying. Woohoo! Gotcha, Van! You've been rebud! The whole mouse and the cereal bit, Mom. What's that, like four years in a row? Four terrifying years in a row. Here, Cheyenne, take this from me, would you please? Hurry, quick. Quick. Oh. How unfortunate you seem to have pulled your mom's arms out of her sockets. Hey, my Halloween pranks are funny. What, like putting eyeballs in the ice cube uh -huh. trays? Or answering the door and saying, welcome. Or putting dry ice in the toilet? That's not funny. That just burns. <laughs> just getting warmed up. I'm saving all my funny stuff for this Halloween. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sorry I'm going to miss that. But my support group is throwing us a sober party. Sober Halloween? What are you gonna go dress as? A nap? Shut up, Van. I'm a goblin. Oh. And it's important that I go. Yeah, but why can I go? Because you're not an alcoholic yet. You know, I just think you're spending an awful lot of time with your group, especially that Frank guy. I don't like the way he looks at you. Okay, Van, Frank is my sponsor, and he is really important to me. Well, thank God we have Frank to get you through it. Yeah, I know I do. Yeah, I know you know you do. I know I know I do. I know I know you know I do, because I just told you. All right, all right, you two knock it off. Van, if you don't have anything to do on Halloween, you can spend it here with me. Arr! <laughs> yeah, right, dressed as what, a yawn? <laughs> nice yarmulke. <laughs> or... You can wear what you have on and go as a jackass.
Mom, you do not want Van at your party. He's been acting really weird lately. He's always bugging me about spending time with Frank. I mean, it's like he doesn't trust me or something. Oh, Cheyenne, you know Van. He's just jealous. Well, I know, but I can't help it if Frank is young and hot. <laughs> well, it would help a lot if you quit saying stuff like that. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's someone who'll come to my super-duper scary party. You gonna be there for me, right, Jake? Yeah, right. Dressed as what? A coma? <laughs> No, I was thinking Eddie Munster. <laughs> well, I'm not a kid anymore. Me and my friends want to go over to Nick's and make omelets. Omelets? Yeah. Oh, and you need to buy me three dozen eggs. <laughs> I don't think so. Look, scaring each other is a family tradition. You're staying here with me. It's not fair. I never get to do anything fun. Thanks for ruining my life. You're welcome. <laughs> my roots are planted in the past. Though my life is changing fast. to defrost Reba's dinner. I haven't even had my dinner. Because she called and said she was working late and needed our help. Besides, since she's not here, I can snoop through her junk drawer. <laughs> That's how our rubber band ball got so big. Did she say what she's having for dinner? Chicken. Brock, are you blind? Mint chocolate chip, get me a spoon. <laughs> oh, come on, that's a very scary head. You have no idea how much nail polish I wasted on that neck. You want to know what's scary? These popsicles were in here when we got divorced. <laughs> Just bring me the severed head, or as I like to call him, Brock Jr. <laughs> Face it, Reba, Halloween is a thing of the past. I can't give up. Every year the kids get older, they get harder to scare. I gotta try something new. Well, you could try not scaring them. Brock, this is a family tradition. My mama scared me, her mama scared her, my great-grandmama scared the whole village. <laughs> Till they burned her at the stake. Mm -hmm. Oh, just let it go, Reba. Come on, the kids are older now. I can't let this end with me. If I don't get Jake into it this year, the family tradition could die. Come on, guys, help me out. You're the scariest people I know. <laughs> I want nothing to do with it. Halloween is evil. Now, I know you're going to make fun of me, but I know what I know. And there is no trick-or-treating in the Bible. <laughs> Halloween isn't about evil, it's about fun. Oh, no. She hands out religious pamphlets instead of Halloween candy. That's why her house has been egged the last five years. Two of those years could have been me. Well, I would rather have an eggy door and a clean soul than the other way around. Mm. Are you saying I should just let Halloween go? You know who didn't let it go? No. The Druids. <laughs> and where are they now? Florida. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> now, come on, Brock. Let's go put the manger on the lawn for Halloween night. Man, I'm gonna be cleaning egg off the baby Jesus till Thanksgiving. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> We're just out here. <laughs> hey, Cheyenne, who's this? Frank. He's um he's my he's he's sponsor. 
Yeah? I'm Brock. <laughs> Cheyenne's dad. Hey. Hi, Frank. I'm Barbara Jean, Cheyenne's dad's second wife. <laughs> Hi, Frank. I'm Cheyenne's mom. Come on in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you. Cheyenne didn't tell me she had such a young-looking mom. <laughs> well, uh, we don't usually talk about it around here, but you can if you like. <laughs> You got quite a daughter here. She's a delight to have in group. I really can't get enough of her. <laughs> oh, isn't he great? Oh, I'm so glad I got a drink of problem. <laughs> Man! Oh, it's Frank. Hey, Frank. What's up, Frank? Nothing, Van. How you doing, Van? Real good, Frank. Real good. Van, be nice. Oh, what? I'm always nice. Of course I will. Excuse me, Frank, while I greet my wife. Van! Oh. Listen, Van, I hope you don't feel weird about me taking Cheyenne to the party. Well, I would feel better if you were gay or ugly. <laughs> Are you gay? And my girlfriend didn't like these parties either. Oh, you have a girlfriend? No, not anymore. We broke up after I got sober. We didn't have anything in common. I guess we just grew apart. You're so sensitive. <laughs> Are you sure you're not gay? Hey, it was nice meeting everyone. Oh, you too. <laughs> See you, Sean. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Frank. <laughs> <Good luck. laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't ever do that to me again. Okay. Nine. Man, is there something you want to talk to us about? No, no. Why would I want to talk about my wife having an affair? <laughs> Why is it frozen? I don't really think Cheyenne's having an affair. Oh, no way. Van, Cheyenne is not having an affair. Did you see the way she acted with him? Yes, Frank, he's so sweet. <laughs> he's, just, he's just sensitive. Makes me sick. Van, look, I, I realize that Frank is flirty and good looking, but I trust Cheyenne. Oh, well, look where that trust got you, Grandma. <laughs> Don't you think I would know if someone was cheating in my house? <laughs> Is it possible that you're overreacting? Chill out, man. It's not like they're spending a ton of time together. They spend every day this week together. Yeah, but she comes home right after the meetings, doesn't she? Her meetings end at 8. She didn't get home till 11.30. Ooh. Yo, boy. <laughs> Van, don't listen to them. I can assure you that Cheyenne would not let anything jeopardize what she has here at home. Yeah, but Mrs. H, I have a strong feeling about this. Well, Van, if it's proof that you want, you should hire a private detective. <laughs> That's what I did when Brock and I were separated. What? Oh, yeah. He followed you to work, to the golf course, to that tanning salon you say you don't go to. <laughs> Tell you what, though, if there is something going on between them, I'm gonna kill Frank. She's totally cheating. Plain as day. What? 
Oh, Reba, this has all the hallmarks of an affair. Yeah, it happens all the time when someone gets sober. They're hanging around with someone they can trust. She's vulnerable. And did you see that guy? Oh, I don't know. I trust her. She's a good girl. I was a good girl. <laughs> Crap! Yeah. I don't know. I trust Cheyenne. But it does look a little suspicious. What do you think? <laughs> All right, Mom. Ben's walking me to Nick's house. Yeah, we just have to stop by the store first. Okay, Ben, I don't want you buying him any eggs. Don't worry, Mrs. H. Apparently, some of the boys sprouted some chin hair and they need 12 cans of shaving cream. <laughs> just take him to Nick's. Hey, Barbara Jean. Hey, Mr. H. Hey. Happy Halloween. Oh, no, it is not. <clears throat> Oh, Where's Henry? Didn't you bring him to trick-or-treat? Oh, no, we dropped him off at the church party. Everyone goes dressed as a figure from the Bible. Henry went as Charlton Heston. <laughs> hey, I should have brought him over here so he could part your red hair. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, has Cheyenne left for her party yet? Because I'm thinking maybe we shouldn't let her go. I don't know. It seems a little extreme. I mean, basically, it's a 12-step meeting in costumes. How much trouble could she get in? I'm off to my party. <laughs> Is that why you want to hire a cleaning lady, Brock? <laughs> Cheyenne, don't you think this costume is a little bit, uh, little? I'm a French maid. It's historically accurate. Yeah, but I thought you were going to go as a goblin. Oh, yeah, but then I realized goblins are ugly. I could never pull that off. <laughs> Honey, I'm just saying I don't think it's appropriate for you to go to a party dressed like that without your husband. Well, it's too late because Frank is going as Lord of the Manor. It's like he's my boss. <laughs> oh, that's Frank now. Coming, monsieur. Oh, I love Halloween. Don't wait up for me. <laughs> Something tells me the Lord of the Manor's getting his pillows fluffed tonight. Stop it. I told you she's a good girl. I was a good girl. Crap. Hey, 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 hey. Look, Cheyenne dropped this. What is it? Pruitt Hotel and Suites. Pruitt? Isn't that pretty sleazy? Yeah. Oh, no. What if they got a room? I'll call Joe the night manager. Look at this. Room 601, can't wait, Frank. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna put a stop to this right now. Woo! Mom! What? Something really bad just happened. What happened? What? It's Van. Van and I guy. What about him? He saw them together. Van free. Oh, Lord. I gotta go stop him. Oh, my gosh. Woo! Whoa, Van! You gotta hide me. What, what in the Van, world? What Frank Van? and I got in a fight. It was bad. I didn't mean to hurt him. Oh, no, no. Where's Cheyenne? I left her there. She made her choice. Oh, left her where? I don't remember. All I saw was red. Okay, everybody, just calm down. I gotta get out of here, Mr. H. You still know those guys in Mexico? Who do you know in Mexico? <laughs> Ask your private detective. Man, you're not going anywhere. Where is my daughter if you did anything to her? Mom? Oh, Cheyenne. Cheyenne, okay, are you all right. okay? Oh, Mom, it was awful. I couldn't see anything. There was blood everywhere. Van, what did you do with Frank? He's in a place where he can't destroy any more families. Van, what did you do to him? The cops are on their way. I heard the sirens. Police? Okay, all right, you know what? I know how to buy us some time, all right? I'm gonna tamper with the crime scene and I'll get rid of Van's DNA. Now, don't worry. I watch all of the CSIs. Barbara Jean, um, don't... Tell me where you hid him. If you do not tell me where Frank is, I'm gonna tell the cops where you're hiding. You wanna know where he is? Yeah. Fine, I put him in the trunk. You monster! Man, he could suffocate in there. I wouldn't worry about that now. <sighs> what have you done? Oh, I gotta go help him. Go ahead, yeah. <laughs> he got out! Help me. Help me.
What are you doing? Happy Halloween, Mom. <laughs> You've been Jake. <laughs> You know, you could have caught me. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Mom? Reba? How dare you? Uh-oh, here comes the real blood. You made me feel ridiculous for doing all my Halloween pranks so you could pull this off? And all of you were in it! Lying, scheming! Plotting behind my back. Okay, Reba, just calm down. Come on, it's only a joke. Just a joke? Are you kidding? I almost had a heart attack. And it was awesome! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it was great. You got me and you got me good. Man, this is the greatest present a mama could ever get. <laughs> And I pass the torch on to you. <laughs> and you, you were phenomenal. Shine, where'd you find this guy? Oh, he's an actor. I met him at my meeting. The place is full of them. <laughs> It was an honor sharing my craft with two lovely ladies such as yourselves. I'm reminded of a sonnet oh, by really? the Bard of Avon. Well, I'm reminded of the door. And it's, uh, <laughs> checks in the mail, pretty boy. <laughs> that guy's definitely gay. I can't believe you guys pulled it off. Yeah. They did such a good job. <laughs> Except Barbara Jean, she was a little over the top. Yeah, well, Barbara Jean. Oh, boy. You didn't tell her? Oh, come on. Everyone knows she can't keep a secret. You mean to tell me that Barbara Jean is out there somewhere searching for a fake crime scene? Yeah. This Halloween just gets better and better. <laughs> really think of Reverend Parks. Smoking hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Barbara Jean, he's a man of God. I got two words for you, Reba. Thorn birds. <laughs> he is kind of cute. Yeah. Hey, when a man's behind the pulpit, I don't think about those kind of things. But now, if he was a construction worker, or I'd mm -hmm. be all over oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, kids, you got your church clothes on. Those clothes are for praying, not for playing. Come on. <laughs> Run, come on, baby, run, 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 yes, touchdown. Man. Hey. We're back. How was church? Fine. How was Cindy? Awesome. <laughs> hey, Elizabeth, that's a pretty dress. Yeah, and she only pulled it over her head three times. <laughs> come on, Elizabeth, let's go get washed up for lunch. Come on, honey. Come on, children. <laughs> Dan, oh. we have a problem. I know. The Texans got no running game. <laughs> Show him. Elizabeth drew this picture today at Sunday school. It's her family at church. Notice something missing, Van? Huh. Perspective and subtle shading. <laughs> you, Van, you're missing. Oh, well, maybe that orange smudge is supposed to be me. Face it, Cheyenne. She's not very good. <laughs> You shouldn't be sitting and drinking beer on Sunday while your daughter is in church. You really shouldn't. It's not good. It's not right. It's bad. Okay. Okay, how many wives do I have? Why is everybody bothering me? Mr. H spent the morning drinking beer and watching football, too. That Hooters! <laughs> Honey, don't you listen to your silly hat-wearing Uncle Van. <laughs> Come on, sweetie. You know Daddy spent the morning doing dental work for the poor. Just like Jesus would have done if he'd gone to dental school. <laughs> my roots are planted in the past. Though my life is changing fast. Who I am is who I want to be. A single mom who works too hard. Who loves her kids and never stops. With gentle hands and the heart of a father. I'm a survivor.
question about the Bible? Sure, honey. Can a brother and sister marry? <laughs> Jake, what's that got to do with the Bible? Well, if Adam and Eve were the first people on Earth and they had kids, then how did their kids marry? <laughs> Uh, Jake, why don't we leave that question for you, Sunday school teacher, okay? Okay. But if she didn't know this week, I don't know why she'd know next week. <laughs> Let's have some quiet time, okay? <laughs> Oh, are we spicing up our love life? No. <laughs> We're going to church. On a Wednesday night? What is this, Christmas Eve? Van, you said that the only reason you weren't going to church was because of football. Well, there's no game on tonight. Oh, yes, there is. Classic Sports Channel is showing a rerun of Super Bowl VIII. <laughs> it's like watching an old Super Bowl all over again. <laughs> Man, I wish I could bet on it. <laughs> Who's ready for some guy? <laughs> No, thanks. My God tank is full. Oh, there's always room for Reverend Yummy Pants. <laughs> yeah. Mr. H. Good, a man. Explain to them why football is better than church. Well, I would, Van, but as a matter of fact, I am going to church tonight. Thanks to you. <laughs> And Wednesdays are endless hot wings at Hooters. Hey, I had a bunch of women squawking at me. I needed them to get mad at someone else. Yeah, well, I get that. Mom, Ben is still refusing to go to church. Make him go. Well, I don't think it's right to force somebody to go if they don't want to go. Oh, you're wrong, Reba. My daddy used to force my brother to go, and now he's the most God-fearing, church-going person in prison. <laughs> I, I can't believe that you're sticking up for them. Honey, the Bible teaches us to be tolerant of others. Oh, but that's only for people who think the same way we do. <laughs> well, Van doesn't want to go, and Brock can't go. Holy water burns. I agree with Reba, even though she's being mean to me. You're going, Brock. I'm your wife now, not Reba. If you don't want to be forced to go to church, you should have stayed with her. Man, I knew that'd come back to haunt me. <laughs> I'll go get the car. pregnant you and I talked about from that moment on we were gonna be good parents and part of that is going to church just think of it like we're cops all right good parent bad parent Van, do it for Elizabeth oh please don't do that to me you know how I get weak when you bring up that wonderful child do it for that sweet innocent daughter that you love so much and want to do such a good job parent okay okay fine I'll go really Yes, I'd rather go to church for an hour than listen to you bark at me for the next three months. Oh, that is the sweet guy that Elizabeth calls the mm. world's greatest daddy. Mm. Watch the hair. <laughs> Daddy's going to church. Well, praise the Lord for parental guilt. I gotta tell you, I'm really glad you changed your mind. Yeah, you're lucky, Van. For every day you don't go to church, God takes a day off of your life. <laughs> I think you're thinking about cigarettes. <laughs> but who knows something? Oh, well, I doubt it. Oh, come on, man. It's just a couple of hours, and you'll be doing a good thing. Look, I said I'll go. I don't have to be happy about it. Van, what is it about going to church that's so bad? You don't want to know. Yeah, I do. Well, I don't want to tell you. Why not? Because I don't believe in God. He's just joking. <laughs> is it me? Or is it getting hotter in here? <laughs>
talk. I've already said what I have to say. Good, because when I said we talk, I meant you listen. <laughs> Look, man, there's two things you can always believe in. One is God, and the other thing is, if you ever say anything like that again, I will put you in the ground. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you wouldn't be able to accept this. Of course I can't accept this. Man, if you don't believe, why do you watch Davy and Goliath every Saturday morning? Because it's funny. <laughs> Especially when he says, Ha chee, Davy. Stop it. You will not be joking around about this. This is a God fearing house, so start fearing. This is H. You cannot tell me how to think. They're my thoughts, and I might not have them often, but I know I'm allowed to have them. <laughs> We're talking about my soul here, not yours. Yeah, but your soul lives in my house, and I don't want it to get struck by lightning. A, a minute ago, you were all acceptance and tolerance. You're only tolerant if I think the same way you do. You're acting just like Barbara Jean said. <laughs> You're comparing me to Barbara Jean? Oh, you are tempting fate, buddy. Reba, I hope you don't mind, but I was just looking through my Bible for a passage that might help Van, and um, I think I found it. Van, if you look here at Matthew 12, verse 3, Jesus says unto his disciples, What is wrong with you, boy? Huh? You want to spend eternity in a fiery damnation? Knock it off! Fleets of gold or lakes of fire, your choice, Van! Barbara Jean, stop it. I'm not going to get anybody to believe by hitting them with the Bible. Well, that's how my daddy did it. Listen, I'm sorry this upsets everyone, but this is how I feel. Ben, what happened to you? You used to believe? You used to pray? You're right, Mrs. H. I used to pray. I used to pray every day. And then when I found out about my back problems, I prayed ten times a day. I asked God, please, please, let me play football. And if there is a God, then he sucks at his job. <laughs> okay, that does it. Get in the car. Is this the part where you're going to put me in the ground? <laughs> No, this is the part where you're going to go speak to the minister, and if that doesn't work, then I'm going to put you in the grain and not get in the car. It is definitely getting hotter in get here. Get in the car! <laughs> okay, Reba, when we get into the reverend's office, tell me that my hair looks great. Okay. No, say how smart I am. No, 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 casually mention that I've memorized the whole Bible. <laughs> Oh, Mrs. Hart. Van, Barbara Jean. Urban Parks. <laughs> I should really make sure she's okay. <laughs> Reverend Parks, we have a problem we need you to solve. Uh, the service starts in ten minutes. Well, you better work fast. <laughs> Van doesn't believe in God. Go. Ah. Speed converting. Time me. <clears throat> okay, Van, first of all, are you here of your own free will and volition? If volition means a threat of violence, then yes. <laughs> You're free to go. Thank you, Reverend Yummy Pants. <laughs> what are you doing? The boy doesn't believe in God. That's the least of my worries. What does Reverend Yummy Pants mean? <laughs> He's lost his way. You gotta do something. I've done everything I can think of, and Barbara Jean even hit him. Barbara Jean? She seems so nice. She sent me a copy of the Thornbirds. <laughs> I think Van really does believe, but he's just going through a crisis right now. I think that he's a little bit mad at God because he hadn't been having his prayers answered. Well, that sounds like a pretty decent reason. Not having your prayers answered is a bad reason. I'm the queen of unanswered prayers. You don't see me giving up on the Lord. You're the queen of unanswered prayers? <laughs> oh, this is going to be a big blow to my mother. <laughs> Would you stop it? I'm here for guidance. Oh, you're here for guidance. Now we're talking. I don't mean for me. I mean for Van. He's the one with the doubts. Well, it seems to me that the queen of unanswered prayers may have some doubts of her own about God. Well, I don't. I'm very grateful for everything I have, and I tell God that every day. Good for you. <laughs> but there must be a lot that you're unhappy about. Do you tell God that? 
Do you have to have a snippy response to everything? I'm not trying to be flip. It just seems that everybody, at some point or another, would have their faith tested. It's human. Well, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I've never. Not just a little? No! And I don't want to talk about it. I'm here to talk about Van. A lot of times, people come in here to talk about their friends, but they really want to talk about themselves. And if that's you, I'm a really good listener. All I want to do is help Van. Fair enough. <clears throat> Mrs. Hart, people who come to church are only helped if they want to be. So if Van wants to talk to someone, please let him know my door is always open. I think that takes care of everything. So that's it? Goodbye? That's it. Thanks for nothing. You know, you're really ticking me off. I don't know if you went to seminary school or just took an improv class down at the comedy club. And your point is? Yes, I've had my doubts. Happy? I was a wife and a mother. Then my husband left me for his pregnant assistant. Then my daughter got pregnant, too. And then she came and told me that she was going to marry her teenage boyfriend. I didn't know. I knew what my life was. And then one day it all vanished. I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. And then one day I just stopped. Why don't you tell Van this? Because I'm ashamed that I felt that way. Reba, calm down. God is a big boy. <laughs> he can handle it when people react normally, when life roughs them up a little bit. But I can't tell Van to believe in him, and neither can you. But you can tell him that you know someone who's felt the same way. Well, Reverend Yummy Pants. <laughs> You're beginning to sound a little bit like a minister. Well, I do impressions. <laughs> can I ask you one more question? Of course you can. Can a brother and a sister marry? <laughs> I told Jake to ask you that. I still don't understand. How did Van get a letter from the minister excusing him from church? God works in mysterious ways, Cheyenne. Well, you're going to start going after football season ends, right? Well, let's just see how preseason hockey goes. <laughs> Bye, Elizabeth. Oh, Jake, a cove. Wow, you look nice. Just trying to, uh, spruce it up a bit. <laughs> yeah? Here, let me help you out with this. <laughs> you are not taking a Game Boy to church. I'm supposed to bring it to the church for the blessing of the Game Boys. <laughs> Think I make this stuff up? Okay, but you'll leave it in the car when we get there. Fine. But I'm playing it in my head. Hey, Mrs. H. Yeah, Van. How did you get that note? Van, I don't put 20 bucks in the collection plate every Sunday without expecting a few favors. No, but what I mean is, is why? Why'd you do it? How come you're not mad at me anymore? I was never mad at you. Oh, I guess I assume someone's mad at me when they say they're going to put me in the ground. <laughs> and I'm sorry I don't believe in God. Man, I don't think you really mean that. I think you still believe. It's just that you and God aren't talking right now. You guys have a relationship that I desperately really want to have with Barbara Jean. <laughs> I guess this feeling is something you can't understand. Well, that's a bet you'd lose, Van, because I've been there. Come on. You? Tough. Yeah, even the most devout person has their doubts. Not Mel Gibson. <laughs> yes, Van, even Mel Gibson. <laughs> but you know what I learned through all this? I learned that God waits on us. He waited for me when I was mad at him. Wow. 
did you ever do to tick her off? Jean, hi. Please, come on in. Oh, oh, such a gentleman. <laughs> well, Reverend, I, I just wanted to thank you for all your hard work here at the church, so I baked you a pie. Oh, <laughs> oh look at that. You cut out little birds in the crust. What are they, mockingbirds? Thorn. <laughs> Thorn birds. <laughs> So, what can I do for you today? Well, Reverend, I, um, I wanted to talk to you about um, a friend. Okay. See, um, this friend is married and would never do anything to betray her husband. She also has this best friend, the former wife of said husband, and she would never do anything to betray her as well. Well, except steal her man, but that was a long time ago. And... <laughs> Barbara Jean, I too have a story that I would like to share. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> I have a friend who is a minister. Really? <laughs> and this minister is really interested in one of the members of his congregation. Really? But he doesn't know how to go about asking her out. If she came to see him, do you think that would be a, a good time to ask her? Okay, you know what? Listen, Mr. Minister, all right? I know when you say friend, you really mean yourself. And just because I shamelessly flirt, which I cannot help because I'm a naturally vivacious and friendly person, does not mean that you can make a pass at me and in the church, for golly's sake. Barbara Jean. Oh, no, no, no. Your smooth talk is not going to fly, Peaches, okay? All right? <laughs> this is wrong, church boy. Wrong as wrong can be. Now, I am going to take my my pie and my special edition copy of the Thornbirds, and I'm just gonna pretend like this conversation never happened. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Barbara Jean. What? I was talking about Reba. Huh. <laughs> of course you were. You have to say that because I'm taken. <laughs> See you Sunday. <laughs> Amazing grace, sweet.